Okay, here we are at the very front end of the International Space Station. Uh, this is uh, the uh, forward end of Node 2, and uh, this is uh, right behind this hatch is uh, the PMA, the pressurized mating adapter uh, to which the space shuttle docks uh, whenever the next space shuttle comes. You can see we have our flags up here at the most forward part. It's a 15 nation partnership, this International Space Station. So uh, we'll start with uh, the Node 2. We will uh, stop at the Kibo module here, the Japanese pressurized module and the Japanese logistics platform. We'll stop back there in a second. We'll take a look in the Columbus module, pride of uh, the European Space Agency, and our pride too. And then you can look down the stack and you can see uh, several other modules and uh, and even into the a little bit into the functional cargo block, the FGB, and then the service module. So it's a it's a really big space station that we got. Welcome to Kibo. Please enjoy and relax in this brand new, the most spacious and quietest room in the ISS. You can see here, uh, this is the Cybo rack, which is uh, for cell biology. And then we have a fluid rack, Urutai. So these are the two main Japanese science racks that are up here now. There's more that are coming. Let's take a quick look out the window before it gets dark outside. We're going around uh, every, the world every 90 minutes, so uh, it gets uh, we get to see a lot of sunrises and sunsets. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful up there. So this is looking out the port side of the space station, and we're actually also on the front side, so front port side of the space station. And let's take a look what we can see out there. We can see the robot arm I was talking about, the GEM RMS. Those orange things are the solar arrays on the on the port side, and you can see we have a full set. And uh, 15A STS-119 is going to be bringing up the uh, the last uh, solar array on the starboard side. And you take a look. There's our blue, be beautiful blue planet there. And uh, looking at this and where we are, I'd say we're over the. Uh, uh, South Indian Ocean. You can actually see some icebergs down there. So we're actually probably between um, Africa and Antarctica. You can actually see the different uh, shades of the blue water. Okay. So now fly with me. We're going to go to the uh, we're going to go to the Columbus module. are in the Columbus module. You can see it's uh, also spacious. It's also cluttered because uh, uh, it's a great place to store things or temporarily stow them. Uh, it's not going to be this way forever. We're going to have it nice and clean pretty soon. We're flying back to Node 2. We'll take a quick look what else we have here. We have my work area. It's a little bit uh, uh, cluttered right now. But this is kind of my desk. It doesn't sit out uh, horizontally, but it sits. Uh, but it has everything I need on it. This is my crew quarters right here. You can tell has my name on it. And in fact, I can give you a tour real quick of uh, crew quarters. This is what it looks like inside. There's a fair amount of room. We'll get the uh, has a standard uh, space station light on it. So now we're going into the Destiny Laboratory headed aft on the space station. And uh, there's uh, my crewmate, Sandy Magnus. She's getting her exercise in for today. This rack is the oxygen generation system and uh, we have a few too many things on this rack and we're in the middle of cleaning it off, not, not to interfere, but you can see oxygen, we're making oxygen and when we